Hey, Eagle fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Philadelphia Eagles Now. Let's jump into five free agent targets I'm looking at right now for our Philadelphia Eagles coming up in the March 16th, beginning of free agency, the new league year. In today's video, first, though, as you know, mailbag video coming up later on this week. Hashtag Eagles down below right now in the comments section. But here's the kicker. Got to be a, a subscriber. We are approaching 25,000 subs here on the channel. We've had a bunch of new subscribers as well, and I appreciate you guys there. But if you have not subscribed and want to be a part of not only the community and the channel, but being in our mailbag video potentially later on this week, go down below, hashtag Eagles, and hit that red subscribe button right now. All right, we begin with a 10,000-foot view of our current Philadelphia Eagles offseason outlook here with the plan, and here's exactly how it looks. We have talked about this before, but right now they have $14 million in cap space. It can become a lot more, right? With the Brandon Brooks contract, maybe up to 20 maybe even $30 million in free cap space. They can do cuts. They can do trades. They can do a lot of things to make that a lot more money. So just know that it's not going to be you know, slim pickings in terms of how much money they can spend. They'll have some deepish pockets to be able to go ahead and get some people. They also have three first-round draft picks, which you must take into account when adding people in free agency because you got to have some balance as we'll see coming up here in just a couple of minutes your needs we've talked about them linebacker defensive end wide receiver cornerback offensive line those are your top five needs right now uh in free agency and the draft and it will obviously change once they start to go ahead and fill those holes now those three draft picks are important as we've talked about right just remind you for the 15th time 15 16 and 19 overall are your three ones in the first round and you can you know fill a lot of needs with those first round draft picks but i think you can also get a lot of needs in free agency and that's what i want to quickly hit on here is that i I would balance my free agent spending with draft picks, right? You don't want to go too heavy in free agency. You don't want to go too heavy just in the draft. You need to balance a couple of guys here, a couple of guys here, and try and go ahead and get five or six brand new starters, or at least brand new contributors on this football team that even though they made the playoffs, still have a lot of holes, as we talked about here on the channel. And which do you guys like more before we get into my first player on this list? Free agency or the draft? Type F down below for free agency or type D down below for draft. Starting with number five, and I'm going in no particular order, and again, these are just five options. There are plenty of other options. Not saying these are the only five that you can sign, but take that with a grain of salt that we just say, Thomas, I don't want this player. Okay, I'm just giving you options, right? Come on, chill. First, we have Melvin Gordon. Now, you say, Thomas, running back was not on your list of needs, and the answer is no, it's not. Like, technically, you look at your depth chart, you're still going to have uh, Miles Sanders, you still have Kenny Gainwell, and you could potentially re-sign Jordan Howard or Boston Scott, although I would not. We talked about this. But if you have the option to go ahead and get a real beater of a running back, like very much Jordan Howard, just I think a little bit better and a lot healthier than Jordan Howard, Gordon makes a ton, a ton of sense as a cheap running back option in free agency. Even with Javante Williams on that roster last year in Denver, Gordon still had these numbers, 203 carries, 918 yards, Eight touchdowns, four and a half or four four point five yards per carry. I mean, this guy's an absolute monster. I think it would make some sense if Philadelphia has that couple extra free agent money to spend and they want to mix things up with Gordon and mix things up with Gainwell and of course Mouse Sanders as well. I love the idea of Gordon. There are a lot of good free agent running backs in free agency this year. I think Gordon might be the best one, at least my favorite one overall. He has to make the list because I wanted to pick a running back. Ad break pin comment here. Go down below. Name a player you want the Eagles to sign. Let me know who that is down below right now in the comments section. Maybe it'll be somebody I talk about. Maybe it won't be. Let me know your favorite free agent target for our uh, Eagles down below right now. Next player on my list, again, is kind of a luxury pick that I think could make some sense if Philadelphia wants to bring back another tight end. How about Mike Gusecki, the Dolphin tight end, who, when you look at the stats, as we'll see in a second, make a lot of sense. Now, obviously, with the departure of Zach Gertz, your tight end group gets a little bit interesting, right? And you obviously had the knee injury to the former the former Buffalo quarterback, uh, Jackson. I'm blanking on his name right now, Jackson, right? Uh, so you basically have Dallas Goddard and nobody else. And you have some other guys on the depth chart, as you see, but none of these are legit receiving threats in the National Football League, at least not just yet. And so my question for Philadelphia is, like, do the Eagles want a second tight end? Do you want to go back to those two tight end looks that they used a lot with Carson Wentz and a little bit less with Jalen Hurts, right? They had, that's what he was, right? They, they trade Zach Hurts because they wanted to use Dallas Goddard more. So I, I don't know if Gusecki is going to be a guaranteed target, but you could at least look his way because the numbers have been incredible with this guy. I mean, this is with Tua Tagovailoa throwing him the football last year. 73 catches, 780 yards, two touchdowns, 10.7 yards per catch. I mean, that is really, really good in terms of catches and production. I think Philadelphia should emphasize throwing to tight ends more anyway this season. Maybe you help them out by getting a guy like Mike Isecki. Now, we want to help you out for all of our new subscribers who are new to the channel here on winning some money during the Super Bowls. We have a crazy good promo that's still going on for first-time bettors with our friends at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash Eagles bet is the link that you need. You see on your screen right now, you go there, put it up in the Google search bar, whatever you do. And then whenever you go ahead and create your account and deposit your 100 bucks, use our promo code Eagles125. You get a 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. So essentially, if you've never bet on games, you want to do it with our friends at BetUS, you use our link. Use our promo code, use the, uh, put your $100 down, 
And of course, it turns into 225 bucks via the deposit bonus to go ahead and bet on the Super Bowl, right? And the odds right now for the Rams uh, and Bengals, Rams are four-point favorites at home, even though they will be the away team this year, just the way that they rotate AFC, NFC, either way, their home team, but, you know, home team, away team, whatever. Uh, I'm feeling Bengals minus four is what I'm feeling early right here. I'll get my predictions later on on the channel. Uh, we still have a you know, week and a half away from that. Over under 48 and a half. You can bet all this stuff. You can do prop bets. It's a lot of fun at Bet US. I was betting, I bet basically every single week here on the channel. I've talked about my bets with you guys as well. Do it with friends at Bet US. Chatsports.com forward slash Eagles bet. That promo code is Eagles125. So we start with two prospects that would be luxury prospects. How about a prospect that would make the Eagles instantly better? Hassan Reddick, the former Temple Owl at pass rusher, who is an absolute beast. I would love to go ahead and get Reddick. The question is, how much money is he going to command? Because this guy went off last year. 16 games, 11 sacks, two, two forced fumbles, and 68 tackles. Like, this this guy's legit. And he would be with the best pass rusher on Philadelphia by far. And that's with Josh Sweat, you know, seven and a half sacks this year, making the Pro Bowl as an alternate. Brandon Graham coming back from injury. I mean, this would be, Reddick, Sweat, and Graham would be one of the best trio of pass rushers in the National Football League. Now, they're still better, and I'm not saying they're the best, but they'd be really, really good overall. And I think Philadelphia will add a defensive end at some point in the draft, free agency, whatever. I think Reddick is someone they definitely look at. Bring him back to Temple. Bring him back to Philadelphia uh, with the Eagles. How important is adding another defensive end this offseason? What do you think? Like, scale 1 to 10. How important is adding another defensive end this offseason? Let me know what you think down below right now in the comment section. I I'm at like an 8 or a 9. I think they absolutely need one. If you agree, let me know your scale right now. Okay, let's go to the DBs here as we look at, I think, the best one available. How about Marcus Williams? Marcus Williams gets, I mean, he gets some love, but not a ton of love. And as you look at the Eagles DB depth chart, they're going to need some help, right? I talked about bringing back Ronnie McLeod. That's fine. I wouldn't bring back Anthony Harris. I think Harris was kind of eh in terms of his time in Philadelphia. Not bad, not great, right? So you want to bring in somebody who is a lot better. Williams is 100% that. 24 years old, extremely young, has a lot of, I think, a good experience underneath his belt, though. 16 games. He had a bunch of sacks. I mean, you talk about tackles as well. I mean, this guy is really, really good. I think he'd be a great addition to the Eagles defensive back depth chart and a nice signing as well because safety, I think, is a need you fill in free agency. Now, you can go to the draft to get Kyle Hamilton, but will Hamilton, A, be there at 15 and B, be great right away. I think I think Williams to be a little bit cheaper. You don't have to pay him uh, you know, a massive deal, in my opinion, whereas Hamilton might be really good and you have to extend him later on. Either way, safety is where I would go uh, in free agency or, or an option for a free agency versus doing it like in, in the draft, whereas you might go pass rusher or you might go wide receiver or you know, running back in the draft. Who knows? But I, I would go safety in free agency. All right, final player uh, on this list and my favorite player on my free agent options list here, Mike Williams. I mean, come on. They've got to go, go go ahead and get Mike Williams. There are a ton of free agent wide receivers this year, all of which would be great in Philadelphia. I think Williams is the best fit. Not only is he the big body, deep threat, the jump ball guy that the Eagles have desperately needed since Alshon Jeffrey got washed up and left, he is incredibly productive, right? 16 games this past year, Herbert throwing him, him the football, playing alongside Keenan Allen, still had 76 catches, 1,100 yards, and nine touchdowns. Like, I know there are a ton of free agent wide receivers this offseason. We can talk about Chris Godwin. We can talk about uh, Allen Robinson. We can talk about Judas Smith Schuster. But out of them all, I, I think Mike Williams is my favorite. I think he's absolutely my favorite, and I want Philadelphia to get him more than any other player in free agency. I think they're going to make a run at him. I think, I think if you if I had to bet on one player who I think Philadelphia will sign in free agency, I think Mike Williams is top of the list. They've shown that they like free agent receivers in the past. Jeffrey, you know, Smith uh, most recently. I, I, Sean Jackson they did. They brought him back. I, I think they're going to go wide receiver in free agency because they need to. You look at the depth chart. Somebody besides Rager and Whiteside need to get more snaps. That way it's Devontae Smith, Quez Watkins, and hopefully Mike Williams. That's where I'm going right here with the final player on the list. Now, on my five, Melvin Gordon, Mike Gusecki, uh, Hassan Rick, Marcus Williams, and Mike Williams. Um, name a player from my list you want the Eagles to go ahead and sign. Do you have a player? Right? It's Mike Williams, isn't it? Like, it's probably Mike Williams. If, if they're not on my list, then tell me who I missed here. And obviously, I couldn't put everybody on a list of five. There's a lot more players out there that I, of course, like. Let me know who you think the Philadelphia Eagles should sign in for ANC down below right now. All right, ultimate day on our Eagles uh, 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 free agent video here. First, though, quick thanks to our 38 new followers. You had a lot of people uh, go ahead and follow us here on the channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed to follow and show your support. We have plenty of great videos coming up uh, later on this week, as we always do. Follow me on Twitter as well. We had a bunch of new followers on Twitter as well. I think we had like 40 new followers there. At Real Thomas Mott on Twitter, I tweet a ton of fun Eagle stuff. I mean, come on, give me a follow on Twitter, right? It may be a lot of fun. All the way over today, more Eagle videos later on this week. Thomas Mott, signing off the rest of your day.